really like the pattern of my sleeve crinoline or basically the corset cover which is based on a pattern from 1907 and I also made a poll and asking you if you think I should make it in black or in white and basically the answer was both <laughs> so I decided to make the sleeve crinoline in black because it fits better under my cycling sweaters but I also wanted to make a white version uh, so I bought some white fabric and have the pattern I just will make some little changes and see how this will turn out the first step was to shorten the pattern pieces to the desired length and also deepen the neckline I did this with the paper pattern so that I could see if it was right then I cut the fabric out The other day I overheard a conversation at my local fabric store and the customer and the lady of the store were uh, talking about how to cut fabric and how to cut straight lines and she said that you shouldn't look where you're cutting but ahead where you want to cut and I realized that I actually do that when I'm using this little tool here because I look at the ruler and then cut to there and every time I don't use the ruler, my lines start to get wonky and I didn't figure out why. Now I know, so if that helps you, you're welcome. Again, I made sure to cut little triangles at the bottoms of the darts so that I have enough material to fold them into the hem later on. And I marked their position with Taylor's chalk. Then I cut the only really different pattern piece, which is the sleeve. It is much smaller than the previous one, and basically a cap sleeve. Switching the thread to a white one, I started sewing. Once again sewing the darts the wrong way around, but hopefully the next time I will make it the right way. Lastly, I sewed the facing to the front. But before closing it, I pressed the whole garment. You know the drill. First to one side, then to the other and lastly open. But in this case mostly to the back, so that I can finish the raw edge faster by hand, since the seam allowance are laying on top of each other. Then I ironed the hem of the sleeves in place by folding it in by half a centimeter and then a second time by also half a centimeter to make it easy to sew always at the same width. Last night I was a tiny bit frustrated since I tried on this corset cover and it didn't fit as well as the mock-up. I was so annoyed by that because why do I make the mock-up if it doesn't fit afterwards? So I took a moment to um, yeah, look at it and figure out what the problem is and I was able to find it. So this is the black version, which is just a little longer, but it has the same issues basically. It had way too much room in the front here. This part is perfect. Just here is way too much material and the reason is that somehow the darts ended up to be half a centimeter too um, small. That basically changed everything. It was so two centimeters of fabric too much, which looked really bad because I completely lost the accentuation of the waist, which I really like. but. It wasn't there anymore, but now it is back again. And the other thing I remembered is that the dots, in this case, they make these uh, um, little pockets. And with this version, this isn't, isn't ironed yet, but it's already less, less pointy and less making these pockets. <laughs> and the reason is that I sewed the dart not straight up like that, but made an S-curve so that basically the points end up like this and therefore the shape is 
accommodating the round of the bust. And I remember that from my very first study. So thank you Hetty for showing us that back then. <laughs> After I had fixed my fit issues, I sewed the hem of the sleeves and then sewed the sleeves in. This time there is no gathering at all, so I have to make extra sure that the layers lay flat without any folds. Somehow sewing a sleeve with gatherings in feels way easier to me. I cut the front into a nice point so that the lower layer won't show later on. And I ironed the hem into shape. The point was a little tricky, but in the end it stayed in its place. I switched to work on the tailor's hem since it felt easier to work on the rounding of it, especially in the area of the dots. So the points required a little slower work speed, but for the rest it was now really easy to sew the hem. I checked if the points are equal and they weren't, so I sewed one anew. I think it was the back one. Once they were even, I then hemmed the neckline the same way, just narrower and I was lazy and didn't iron it, just pinned the hem in place. And now to the thing that is a little bit extra, as I said in my last video, because, well, this corset cover is quite simple. You can add this little lace at the neckline and the sleeves, but other than that, it's plain. Well, I'm me and I always want to try something new and this time I decided to make some buttons, some thread buttons. And therefore I bought this box of Automotive Aluminium Oil Drain Plug Gasket Washers Assortment Set. <laughs> so basically these little aluminium rings. And I will make thread buttons. They are not dorset buttons because dorset buttons are made with the thread wound around the ring first and then made these longer threads which are crossing in the middle and the thread buttons that were made on the continent where first the crossing threads are made and then wound the thread are between each of those first mates. So that's the difference and I'm going to do the simplest one to try and to see if it's fun, if it looks good. And that's how I will make my corset cover a little bit special. But since I had my modern machine up and running, I used only the blanks for the sizing of the buttonholes so that I can already sew them. I figured that buttons around one and a half centimeter might look the best, so I distributed them evenly and then marked each position with a pin. The buttonholes were quickly sewn and also finished. I created the buttons by winding three bundles of eight threads crossing in the middle, securing them there with a cross.
Then I wound the thread around the ring, each time making two loops between one of the threads of the bundle. And this way this kind of wheel was created. Once the thread was secured at the back, I sewed the buttons to the corset cover, since I could use the same thread. And since I decided that the corset cover was still too plain, I then sewed some simple lace to the neckline and the sleeve. And here's the corset cover. I really do love these buttons and even in combination with the lace, it's plain and simple. It makes a shape I really love on my body. And I assume that I can use this pattern for some other styles too. So that's pretty cool. Thanks for nudging me to make not one but two versions of this corset cover.